Hey everyone, it's Miriam with a Y from Miriam's Nature. Just to let you know, this was filmed January 1st of 2018, so if you're watching this much later, I hope that what I'm talking about is still available. This is going to be more of a bonus video than anything else. It's a tip that I could not wait to share with those of you that use alcohol inks or any art supply that comes in small bottles like airbrush inks or liquid pearls or jacquard's fabric dyes or fluid acrylics or flow acrylic or liquitex ink or craft paint or even the little baby squeeze bottles that I love to use so much. And maybe, I just maybe Bombay inks. I'm not sure about these, but I'll, we'll see. I was in the Dollar Tree today. For those of you not in the States, it's a chain of dollar stores. And I was actually getting a shower curtain liner. Oh, here's a bonus tip within a bonus tip. Dollar store shower curtain liners make great drop cloths for your work surfaces. They're huge, roughly six feet by six feet, or 180 centimeters square, and they're a dollar. They come in clear, white, and a couple of other colors, I think, but I'm guessing that clear and white are all we would care about. So back to the original tip. As I was headed down the aisle for these, I passed the aisle before it that has bathroom organizers, and honestly, I think I heard angels sing. I, I'm pretty sure there was a harp or two involved, too, and the whole thing culminated in a ray of sunshine breaking through the roof and shining on these. And these are also a dollar each because, you know, dollar store and all that. I checked these out online a while back, and ones this size started at $7. And the compartments were just a hair touch too small. They were made for lipsticks, I think. There were some that were made for nail polish, but they were $12 and up. And they had a ton of negative reviews because they would arrive chipped and cracked. And those also didn't even have individual compartments, so bottles could tip over. Now, the width of an alcohol ink bottle is just about exactly one inch. And you have to watch this. Oh my gosh, seriously. Did you not just hear angels sing too? These guys have 16 compartments. And the footprint is 4.9 inches square, or 12.4 centimeters square. The height at the highest point is 2.3 inches. And with alcohol inks in them, the height, so from here to here, um, would be 4.3 inches or 11 centimeters if you're trying to make this fit into a box or something. I mean, really, how fabulous is this? You can sort your colors. Pinata inks These are the same exact size as the Ranger bottles. You, know, you, can, you can separate out your mixatives. Ranger has exactly 65 different colors and mixatives right now. So if you have four of these, you can fit all of them in there except for one. Pinata has 22 different colors, so two of these would be enough for your Pinata collection. Now when you go, make sure to get the one that has 16 compartments and is five inches square. They have a few that have different layouts, like this one is five inches deep, but it is narrower from left to right than this one. So it's not going to hold alcohol inks. The compartments are a little too small. This compartment back here can hold fluid acrylics, like, you know, these guys. But 
I can't really think of things that we use that would fit comfortably in these. This layout can be useful. It'll hold alcohol inks. It's a little bigger. These are slightly wider than these, but it'll still fit your inks. This compartment here can be useful for Liquitex inks, maybe some Bombay inks. Your alcohol blending solution can fit in here. These bigger little squeeze bottles will fit nicely in here. And then there's another one that I didn't get that I think would be really good for the Liquitex inks. The layout is like the one pictured on the label. This label is on all of them. So don't go by the picture. Really look at the compartments. Don't go by the picture. The picture here shows another one they had that I didn't get. Um, it has nine compartments. Same footprint as this one. So five inches square. This one would hold the Liquitex inks and um, these bottles and maybe an alcohol blending solution and all the golden products. So that might be useful to you if you have a lot of those. Now there are something like $17,000 Dollar trees in the 48 contiguous states. So I'm hoping the bulk of you can find these. And I think there are something like 200 and something Dollar trees in Canada. So some of you in Canada can find them. I did, uh, UPC search for um, Europe and couldn't find it. I, the closest thing that I found in the UK was um, like another nail polish one that had slightly different dimensions, which might work. And I will put a link to that in the description box below. But I haven't seen it in person, so I don't know for sure that it'll work. But for those of you that can use these, uh, I think they're fabulous. But wait, there is more. While walking around, I also came across these. The ones on the right come in two sizes and have nice rubber linings and feet. Some Dollar Tree stores also carry them in black. They are ideal for holding the two ounce bottles of craft paint or Golden's one ounce bottles of fluid and high flow acrylics. The long one holds 18 craft paint bottles or 20 Golden bottles. And the short one can do 12 craft or 14 Golden or DecoArt fluid acrylics. These are also awesome for alcohol inks. The long one can hold 36 of them and the shorter one can still hold 24, or other related necessities. Now, if you're short on space, two long ones can hold all the Ranger Adirondack alcohol inks, and have room to spare for blending solution and alcohol. Two of them for two dollars! I also saw this cute step stand in another aisle and brought it over to this section because I had an idea. Check this out. How perfect is this? It can even hold up the longer ones too, really. Oh my gosh, you sort of gotta love this place. But wait again. <laughs> if you act now. They also have these. You get them in a pack of three. That's three of these for a dollar. I mean, I don't even understand that. But these can hold your Goldens. So if you have these two bottles have the same exact footprint, you can fit seven across. And then there's sort of like a little bit of a gap because then you need to offset your next row because they won't fit right next to each other, but you can alternate down the line like this. And so you'd be able to get 14 of them into this. And it gets even better. It holds 18 alcohol inks perfectly. 
look at this. I mean, seriously, three of them for a dollar. I came across a few other little things that might be helpful too. Like these little containers would be great for storing leftover paint or even pouring paint. Now these bottles hold over two and a half ounces each and have the type of cap that you don't even need to flip open, you just snap it open. I know some of you use these aluminum pans to catch paint while pouring and these muffin tins are awesome for holding up your cups so that you don't accidentally knock them over while you're working. Lord knows, as fluid artists, we live and breathe on stir sticks, and I don't think you can get them cheaper than this. They have both the regular size and the jumbo size. This measuring cup is polypropylene, so cured resin or dried paint will easily peel right off. The smooth, round inner base will help guarantee easy and complete mixing. And finally, for any of you that do realistic beach pours, like the ones my friend Michael and I do, these make great embellishments. I'm sure if you walk around your local dollar store, you'll find other things that can really help you out with your creativity. If this video helped you a little bit, let me know with a thumbs up, and definitely tell me about it in the comments. If you have other dollar store ideas or other store ideas that you think can help, add them to the comments for other people to see too. It was fun walking around and thinking of you guys as I did it. You are all making this channel such fun for me. Definitely stay tuned. Thank you for being the awesome viewers you are, and a special thank you to this amazing group who graciously and ever so generously sponsored me last month. I cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to help support the channel by making it possible for me to buy supplies for these videos, there's a link in the description box below. You can also help by clicking on any Amazon link of mine to take you to Amazon right before you do any shopping there. It's free for you and helps my channel a little bit. As always, share this video as much as you can. Subscribe if you've been putting it off. And go let your creative nature shine. Go paint something. <laughs> okay, until next time. Aw, I kind of miss you already. Bye now.